Hello, everybody. I'm Thea Sophia. I wanted to come on for a few moments just to tell everyone how grateful I am. Grateful to Sheila and Dr. Whimsy. And then grateful to all of you who made beautiful comments and wrote me emails and gave me opportunity to do a little feedback with some of you. I'm excited. It's uh, wonderful for me inside. My heart is just so full of light and love for all of you. Um, so what I'm going to try to do on Wednesday morning this week at 10 a.m. is to go live. And I would like if you would go to the discussions tab um, and write some spiritual questions that you would like to know answers to. I am not giving it the intent to do healing, but to help have understanding about things that you maybe haven't understood or about other type things about healing and my work and things like that. So it says I have a 24 hours advanced setup. So by Wednesday morning, everything should be a go. And I would assume you're going to get a notice, but you'll know now anyway, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Um, I will be available to uh, get to meet all of you on the level of the live with the chat. Now, today we did get our booking scenario worked out. Go to the About tab, and at the top you'll see it's in Gene Book. And it gives you a URL that you need to uh, copy and paste, and it'll take you right where you need to go. So those are my need to things to tell you. Um, let me think if I can think. I've had a number of questions from everybody. Um, when I made up my what I do, I extended it to some of the things you've asked for. Um, there's people starting tomorrow. So again, my uh, heart is so filled with wonder and excitement of the journey that uh, we are going to go on together. I have a lot of other things planned as we move forward, but let's start here. Let's start uh, where we communicate and share and begin to understand. And uh, for some of you will want to get to work on your inner being and uh, evolve. So welcome, welcome to my site. Um, Light language is something you can learn. I did get asked that. There are a lot of people who came and subscribed who already do light language. Now, isn't that interesting? It's wonderful. So these are essences of God, that allowing God to speak through them. Light language itself speaks to the soul. And it's just not to the soul of the human, but to the animal, to extraterrestrials. It is the one language that is universal at this period of time, and it is by frequency. So anyone who does light language will begin to understand what it's saying, and it's very loving. There are 127 different kinds of light language. So someone asked me if I use Reiki. The answer is no. Um, it's never come about that way for me. I use the light of God, which at this time is the 14th ray. Um, you can rub your hands together and straight from God. That's why I enjoy it. There's no in-between person. God will come down through your crown, bring it down inside your heart. You let it come up over your shoulders and out your hands and uh, quite powerful. So I encourage all of you maybe to begin to start to work with that. Just place your hand and let it, the warmth, because 
your body will accept it wherever it's needed. It's the power of that light. So that's the energy I work with, was taught with, and um, I've been and done many things to learn all the little uh, pieces from different masters and teachers. And um, not that I, I guess the meditation class was a class when we went to Thailand for so long and meditated for over a month all day and went about a process of clearing our channel, releasing so that we could be initiated into the, the legend, legend of the uh, the masters through the Maharishi. So that was one of the most powerful experiences that was over time. We saw some people's hair turn gray to white. Some people had the measles and the next day it was gone. It was quite a, a depth of healing that occurred in that process. As you uh, use the mantra, I would say the heart mantra is the first one you get. It is the most transforming. It gives you the gift of seeing with God's eyes and opening up that heart in another level. Um, I'm going to be doing the initiations as a huge group um, for a lot of you, if you're interested. It is uh, similar to um, I can't think of it right now. So, but it is a transcendent and then two minutes uh, into the depth of your knowingness. It is a call for your sound of your frequency to take you home and to let you begin again. And uh, that's our inner longing that encourages us to go forward. So what else do I have to tell you today that's different? Um, I would say I've learned so much from the people I work with. You know, as a healer, every time you work with someone, you heal. And to think that for all the years I've worked and all the people the light has touched through me, uh, that has done nothing but benefit uh, the world people and myself. So it is a wonderful journey to be on, one that keeps getting lighter on your feet, lighter within your heart and your beingness, and that things don't always look how a normal human being would look at them. There's another way to see it. So this is when I wish I had a question to answer. And that's what we'll try to remedy on Wednesday at 10 a.m. You can now go to uh, GenBook and go to the About part of my top of my page. And we have written it up there. You need to copy and paste. Put that in uh, your URL place and hit it and it will take you. It's under Infinite Body Energetics. That's my business name. And also you can go on the discussion page and place your questions there. So, so much for us all to talk about, so much to get done, so much to love. And after all, that is what it's all about, to love yourself, to accept yourself, and to feel how different the world becomes when you can see it from that way. And I do understand there are those of you who've been on that journey. And I... Uh, hold compassion for you and that together perhaps it will even grow and become more or maybe I will at some, one, some point sit in the student seat who knows so enjoy your evening have questions come to you go to the discussion part on my page and we will meet on Wednesday morning 10 o'clock a.m. eastern time I'm down here in Florida. It was a beautiful day today and a little windy. But here we are. Some of you are cold. Some of you are starting to have summer. And I have to say, the last couple of years I've been here, it hasn't been really humid. So amazing how things 
can change how they look when you choose to see them a different way. So many blessings to all of you. Thank you so much again. Uh, every day it's growing more and uh, we'll see what we end up all doing together. Many blessings.